All right, day one on Balancing the Brain to Live Better in PTSD Awareness Month, Gun Violence Awareness Month, and Alzheimer's Brain Health Awareness Month. And first things first, post-traumatic stress disorder. How one starts the process of getting a diagnosis is they have to have an event where they perceive themselves to have almost died or someone that they cared about died. So let me ask you a question. In the last, I don't know, four years, were you ever told that hmm, you could die or if you did not do something that you could kill somebody else? Well, that is step one in getting a PTSD diagnosis. And most people are inundated with that messaging, which leads to our first thing that strengthens the amygdala is thoughts that then trigger a stress response. So thoughts, and I'll give you a hint. Do you feel negative while you're thinking? That's a thought that triggers the stress response, that strengthens the amygdala. You have repeating thoughts that strengthen that amygdala. Well, shoot, who doesn't? Well, everyone does, because everyone has an overactive amygdala. So how to balance it out? So trick number one for video number one on how to engage the prefrontal cortex. Super simple, this is what it is. Simply look up. So by looking up, you remove the tension on the upper cervical spine, which then allows that vagus nerve to be flossed ever so gently in order to stimulate the rest digested all and heal response. One of the reasons why getting an upper cervical chiropractic adjustment also has the same exact effect. So in order to stop those repeating thoughts that are negative, simply look up, get that vagus nerve to kick on. I'm Dr. Devin Brossard. Balance the brain, balance the body, and live better.